They can use their data to, to give their customers far better information and to improve the interaction with customers when those customers come into a branch, when they transact online. Hello and welcome to this masterclass series entitled Realizing the True Value of Data in Association with Click. We're looking at that different segments of the banking industry can better use the data at their fingertips to add value to the business. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy and Technology Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Duncan Ash, Senior Director, Global Financial Services at Click. In Chapter 1 of this four-part video series, we will look at how retail banks can use customer data to better serve their clients and improve the profitability of a branch. Duncan, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Joy. What would you say are the biggest data challenges for retail banks? Probably that the banks are creating a lot of complexity. So complexity through the, the number of products that they take to market and complexity in terms of their operations as well. So they have a lot of channels now that they go to market through um, large branch networks, a lot of complexity through those and really just the volume as well of data. So not, not just the fact that they create a lot of it, but all, all of the new data they're creating is complex as well. So they have to find ways to break through that complexity in order to find some value in that data. So how can banks better use their customer data to better serve them? Sure, so they can, they can use their data to, to give their customers far better information and to improve the interaction with customers when those customers come into a branch, when they transact online. Um, often it's possible to mine that data based on the, the kind of roles that, uh, that we're dealing with. So we could be helping somebody in um, the head office, we could be helping a regional manager, a district manager, maybe a branch manager, or maybe even someone who had a specific role within a branch, like a mortgage advisor or a, um, somebody who helped with, with loans. Um, so giving those people better information, very, uh, very well suited to their, to their job roles. Okay, um, but also how does it help them either cross-sell or upsell to these customers? Sure, well that, that's, uh, that's something that uh, I guess banks have done for quite a long time anyway, but it's becoming harder and harder with the, the range of different products that they, they take to market. So it's really looking for signals within that data, trying to find information within the data that you're allowed to use legally in order to prompt someone in, an, in a, either in a contact center or in a branch um, or even online. To, uh, to, to give that customer a better offer. So um, if I use the example of uh, maybe somebody has purchased airline tickets, so there's a transaction with an airline, the next logical step might be to offer them foreign currency. Mm -hmm. So not a major thing, but enough to, to give them a better service and to win potentially new business. Okay, and how does sort of having better insights into the data can also help retail banks uh, manage risk better? Sure, well that, that's something that uh, the bank's looking at all the time. So particularly from a retail banking point of view, we're looking at credit risk, retail credit risk. Um, banks will have traditional methods in place to score the, their customers and understand what a customer's risk profile is. But um, bank managers um, will always like to use their personal experience as well to complement that. So we take what the, the systems will give us um, and then we can enrich that information with the, the practical experience of, of the individuals. Um, whether to, to um, increase or decrease the amount of money that's on offer and really to, to get the rate correct. Banks mm -hmm. are always looking to get the rate um, optimal for any given customer. Okay, and maybe my last question is really around branches. There's been a lot of debates uh, in the UK and elsewhere really around branches and you know, the profitability of branches. And sure. How does better data insights really you know, give sort of a better idea of the profitability? Sure, so yeah, profitability is key, and you, you've probably seen a lot of press about uh, banks closing down branches, but at the same time, if you take a walk around some of the, the smarter parts of London, you see a lot of new branches opening. So banks are very savvy about where to locate their branches and what kind of services to offer in which kind of branch. Um, we're always trying to help, help our banking customers to, to analyze that information, to, to try and help them figure out where to to open, what kind of services to offer, and really what, what banks are trying to do is to, to make the experience much, much better in the branch and to, to look at the types of transactions which maybe shouldn't be happening in a branch. So somebody paying in coins, for example, versus somebody who might want to, uh, to take out a loan or a mortgage. Um, how can we get the, the high value interactions into the branch and how can we take the low value interactions out of the branch so that people who are in the branch get a better service? Excellent. Thank you so much for your insights, Duncan. Pleasure.
So in Chapter 2, we will be looking at data aggregation and how it improves risk management for investment banks.